Salutations, my witches and wizards. Welcome back. Let's go to Hogsmeade. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I want to explore everything. Uh oh. Okay, so, um, it was advised. I think it was you, John Simpson, that said, yeah, you definitely want to do every little thing. And I plan to. That's just my nature. But I do want to go to Hogsmeade first because I think at that point you unlock everything, right? Oh, wow, look at these. Oh, that's cool. Look, it tells you how many chests there are. 55 field guides just in Hogsmeade alone. Dimmy guy statues. What the hell is that? And here, what? Do, is this broken down by... Yeah, it is. Astronomy tables. <laughs> oh, man, so much to discover. Oh, 150 total out of here. Okay, so it doesn't exactly tell me... Let me see something. Oh, yeah, it does. I could break it down by section. Cool! I could search systematically for my pages. Wow, 5 out of 23. I got a long way to go. But, you know, that's cool. Mm, since I'm going to do it systematically, um, I'm not going to do any Vrabelio on my way out of the castle. But when I get to Hogsmeade, yes! As we explore everything, talk to everyone, see what there's to see. I want my butterbeer, man. Oh, gosh. And we're going to get a wand, right? So every review mentions, you know, wand making, so that's not like a major spoiler. It's not a spoiler at all. I mean, come on, it's freaking, Her it's not Harry Potter, it's Hogwarts in the Harry Potter world. So how you guys doing? Are you having a good day? I hope you are, I really do. Thank you for coming by, thank you for your support, I love you guys. Yeah, I like this, um, this little trail that you could enact. Makes navigating Hogwarts a lot easier. I mean, it can be a little confusing. Well, I guess everything is a little confusing when it's new to you. I'm sure before long I'll know Hogwarts like the back of my hand. Hey there, fellow student. Beautiful chandeliers. Animated mural. Not mural, that's actually stone carving. Animated carvings. This world is so magical. All the paintings move. This game likes cats. There's lots of cats. Yeah, so I start rewatching the movies because, yeah, this game does that to you. <laughs> Turns out that I'm not so clever after all. Oh my god, I want to talk to somebody, so many people. I promise you guys I'm going to do everything, everything. But anyways, I'm not as clever as I thought. I thought Diggle was like a cool name that, you know, would fit in the Hogwarts world. And you know what? I was right. It does fit in. What? There's a character named something Diggle in, in the Hogwarts world. I just totally forgot. So, I guess Diggle is related to whoever that person is. <laughs> Alright, 28 more steps, meters. I don't know what measurement this is. There she is. Hey, lady. Hello. Looking for me? Yes. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. Oh, yes. You I... must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. You have no idea. I've been looking forward to it. So looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. <laughs> so cool. Let's go. Yeah, my all balls would be popping out of my head. Oh, this must be the Hogwarts grounds. Yes? Must be. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna follow her. There's the I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. Oh. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. So beautiful. I wish there was koi in that pond. It would make me happy, but I guess I can't survive the winter, so there's that. Magic! Magic koi! That'd be amazing. You can name them, feed them, make them grow, make them grow legs. I don't know what you do in this world. Pigs with wings! That is so awesome! <sighs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave huh. mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I don't know, it sounds fascinating. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. <laughs> Parents' prerogative. Oh man, I cannot wait to explore this world! A whole Hogsmeade new world! Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. 
But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. I like snow. I don't get enough snow in Texas. Although when it snows in Texas, some bad things happen, so... Not in Texas. I want to go somewhere with snow. Oh, wait. Over here. <gasps> What's this? Herb garden? I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They glow. They are interesting to look yes. at. Yes. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Stewed lace wings. Can I pick it? Collect! I officially own some lace wings. How do you like me now? I'm going to take all of them. Yes, I'm collecting everything. So... Trumpet flowers! They're trumpeting! They kind of sound like ducks. I would totally sit here and eat lunch. And be serenaded by the sound of duck flowers. Sorry, Natty, I'm coming. Is it okay to call you Natty? Do I know you like that? Are there more herbs? Wait a minute, Revelio! Uh, I've neglected Revelio, this is not good. It's gotta be second nature, man. Who are the yellow cloaks? Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. Hippogriffs? I wonder if something startled them. White hippogriffs? I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Oh, uh, you know, since I got like an advanced copy, not advanced, of uh, a pre-ordered copy, I think I get a hippogriff later. I want my hippogriff. Whoa, mushrooms, that dance, dancing shrooms, maraca shrooms. Ah, that is so cool. You get pets in this game, right? I want pets. I want, this, I want, a, I want like an MMO slash Skyrim experience. Oh, more of these flies. This is fun. Wait a minute. Oh, usually things are under bridges, like trolls and treasure. I'm following you, Natty. Natia. That's the forbidden forest on the left. Mm -hmm. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Mm, I gotta read Why the sign. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. You're telling ah, me. There's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Look at that. The skyline of Hogsmeade, how glorious. So pretty. <laughs> uh, I want to read this sign. Dangerous! Nice to see you, my young friend. Huh? Who said that? Was that Natia? Sound like Natia. There's water! Glorious water, cool, refreshing stream. I'm going to go fishing. Can you fish in this game? These kinds of streams would be good for trout. Well, at least in North America. I don't know about, like, in uh, Britain. Let's go, lady. Look at this, a pond! I see something in the pond. What is that? Hey, guy. How you doing, guy? Ah, so pretty. Watch out, don't get run over. Yeah, we could see Thestrals because saw, we saw a porch. Was it George? What was his name at the beginning of the game? Got whacked by a dragon. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. Mushrooms. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. Yes. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. You know, I have no idea if there's storage capacity. Just occurred to me. Inventory. I've got these slots, and it looks like my herbs did not go here. Beasts. Beasts? Quest items, notes, and... Oh, here's my stuff. Delicate wings using focus potion leaps serendipitously and are used in the invisibi oh, invisibility potion, eh? I did see, um... I did see, uh... Something about stealth in one of these tree things. Uh, I'll look it up later. Oh, I can look it up here. Challenges? Settings? Hours? Maybe it's challenges. Yeah. No. I don't know. I'll find it later. I'm sure the game will just say, hey, you know, you got talent points and stuff. You could spend it. And I'll be like, sure. I'd like to do that. Ah, uh, stealth. Do I want to play stealth? 30 bots every flavored beans. Wow, they existed 20 years ago. That's an old company. How are you settling in? Really good. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Mm, Everything was so new and unfamiliar. 
I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? Crystals. I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. I'm assuming that Diggle grew up as a muggle. Although he does seem to... Natty, please be patient with me. I must check out these crystals. They highlighted. See, it's hi highlighted. Can I attack it? I can't attack it. Oh, it gives me stuff. Moonstone. No idea what that th what that is. Man, this makes Skyrim's wilderness not look so good anymore. <gasps> oh, it's... I'm coming. I'm sorry. We're gonna wind around anyway, right? Huh. Yeah. <gasps> look at the cobbled stones. So much detail. A feast for the eyes. A cat! I guess we could pet it, right? No? Am I going to talk to it? No, I'm just petting it. It's kind of longish for a cat. It's very, it has a long torso, you know. Still still nice looking. I just want to go off the beaten path. Look at this. It's a path. I forget what these plants are called. I see Mr. that in the Moon? He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Oh, predecessor to Hagrid. Hey, what's the matter, Mr. Moon? Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Looks like he has heartburn. Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Huh? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. It's a lot oh, of Mr. Moon, a Demi, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. I'm shooting every crystal I find. All right, so we're going to fight these Demi guys. Maybe <laughs> there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, but this it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Trying to come up with thumbnail ideas. What do you think? His head looking at these signs? Would that be a good thumbnail? I think that'd be good. Possibilities, you know. <gasps> Hogsmeade. Wait a minute, I didn't actually look at the sign. What's available? Okay, so all the potions, merchants, no trolls allowed. I wish I could have, well, it's not like I get a lot of trolls in my comments. You guys are really cool. I've been really lucky. No, hardly any toxicity in my comment section whatsoever. Oh man, Revelio. I have not been revelioing. <sighs> Glad that shimmered. Okay, it's, especially in Hogsmeade, we gotta get to the revelios. Sounds like delicious pasta. I want some Revelios with like tomato sauce. Collection updated. Tomes and scrolls. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. I know. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. <gasps> and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. Oh, that sounds so good. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. How about just favorite village? I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Revelio. Ha! Okay, I bet you there's several on the main drag here. Alright, let's finish uh, with the thing with her. I have a feeling she's gonna let us loose, right? I hope it's not the whole time I'm following her. I mean, she's cool and all, but man, I want free reign. This place is a delight! Oh, gosh. What style of architecture is that? It's like a British architecture. It's not. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and a wand. A new wand. Of course, you will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore yes. everything as well. <gasps> Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. All right, she's letting us loose, boys. All right, Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. 
Okay, Hogs, Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using the field guide map. <laughs> and it's just one big area, right? Not broken up into sections. What's this? Something out here. The old fool and abandoned old building in Hogsmeade. I'm not gonna concern myself with that, these. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, what's this? Okay, these are. I don't see a legend here. Wait a minute. Hogsmeade map shows shops, those icons, and points of interest. That's what the stars mean. You can track any of these. All right, cool. Okay, so starting from a cat, we're gonna print the cat. Another long bodied, long torso cat. I was like, why aren't there dogs? But then uh, reading the book, Harry reading his letter, said he could bring like a toad, an owl, or like a cat. A dog was not an option. Another cat, we're gonna pet every cat in the game. I bet you there's an achievement. I bet you, I bet you there is. This one is kind of a salt and pepper kind of thing. And make sure I don't miss talking to people. There's a lot of Asian, Asians in this game. I think there was like one Rebellion. in the books. I'd like to, oh, there's a chest. I'd like to see more Asians actually. Although it makes sense if you're gonna go by like percent per demographic, like real life demographic. Uh, the bulk of uh, the population would be white, and then the second largest would probably be Indian and Pakistani, and then followed by no idea. Maybe Asians? I don't know. Revelio! Hey, that's flying. What is this? Um, what do I do? Accio! Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so fun, so magical. Okay, let's stick to the main drag for now. Try to be a bit organized. I don't know what this uh, building is. It's unmarked. Let's go. Oh, it's locked. You know, I need to learn. Um, um, I forgot the name of the spell that unlocks doors. I wonder where I got that spell. You know, Hermione did it to get to, uh, into the room on the third floor. That's where you meet Fluffy. What is this? Looks like a grinding stone. Yeah, for knives and stuff. Oh, no. Watch it. Oh. Lady, I thought your head was about to get cut off. Okay, so this is like a blacksmithing era, uh, area. That's a grinding stone, some bellows. I picked up gold. A well, maybe to quench hot metals. Oh, and there's the forge. Nice! Charcoal for the forge. Wood to turn into charcoal. Where do they turn it into charcoal? Maybe, I don't know. I know a little bit about forging because I watched the show Forged in Fire. I find it fascinating when when people build like weapons and stuff, knives, and then test it by chopping on hunks of bone and wood. <laughs> Can't go, oh yeah, I can go in there. Oh, it's a boiling cauldron, a cauldron. I guess this is where we're gonna get a cauldron. How much money I have? The game should have given me enough gold to um, buy the basics and the essentials, right? All right, side entrance. Got some people here. This guy's probably taking inventory. So we got some copper ones, or, yeah, looks copper. Got your normal, um, pewter. Maybe even bronze. In the book, uh, Malfoy really wanted a solid gold one. Or was it Harry? No, it was Harry. And there's a chest. Search the chests. We found a scarf! That's for the transmogs. I'm gonna wait till I have, like, a huge collection of transmogs before I actually look at it. I like transmogs. It's, like, one of my favorite part of MMOs. Okay. Search these two buildings here. Let's search this one. Wait, there's a bulletin board. Let's see a well. Guys with hats and beards. Hey guys, I like those hats. Those hats are cool. The hat on the right looks very much like a hat that I wear uh, often in real life. Let's go in here. An inquiring mind. Yes, very inquiring. But before I talk to you, Romeo. You have a chest in here, man. Two chests. Will that be robbing him? Can you steal in this game? Do you want to steal in this game? I could only walk right now. <gasps> Here's a chest. Oh, man. Yeah, someone in the comment section mentioned um, that you could use invisibility to get that. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I love you. I love you so much, but please, let me discover some of this little, this minor stuff on my own, you know? And, um, yeah. You know, like how there was that puzzle door? Um, Someone gave me a key to it. I barely glimpsed at it because I want to solve it for myself. But when I edited the last video, I think I may have discovered a clue concerning the symbols to where how I could decipher them. So I'm going to try to do it on my own, and if I can't, then I'll uh, follow that guy's key that he gave me. I think that was John Simpson. Thanks, man. I love you. 
But now, I'm gonna be tainted forever like, no, JT, JT looked at the key and now he's just play acting as to whether or not he figured it out himself because he wants people to think he's clever. But no, I swear, I swear. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. Yes. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I Hello. take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I have, I think. I'm afraid I haven't. No, yet, I haven't. Sir. I lied. Totally lied. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. Conjuration. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I should hmm? let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. I, I, I guess. <laughs> Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Well, that explains why I'm buying seeds. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Look, temporary and available unlocks. Dung comp composter spellcraft. Chopping station. Beast toy box. Okay, this sounds like I might get a pet. Beast feeder? Yeah, obviously. Hopping pot spellcraft. I'll look at this when I actually have the means to buy it. Alright, so potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use it to pot all to grow all sorts of useful spell ingredients. And it's free! Unlocks the uh, small potions. Crafting station, I guess. Unlocks the ability to conjure small potions. Oh, conjuring. I was like, what are you conjuring in this game? Like, um, beasts? Or things to fight for you? But it said like furniture and if stuff? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Bloody hell. I don't have enough parts. Is this expensive? I, maybe it is. I only have 135 from the little gold. So how do you make money in this game? I have nothing to sell, I don't think. What's this sell? Oh, I do have stuff to sell. I need to equip that. And... I got stuff to equip, all right. So I guess I don't need this, but it's not worth anything. A hat has nothing on it. Do I want Harry? Harry, do I want Diggle to wear a hat? Okay, so transmog. If it's a transmog, you should automatically learn these appearances. So it's not like I need to hold on to that, right? Okay, so I, I guess I need to make it a habit to come to Hogsmeade to sell, unless there's a merchant in the castle itself. I'm selling it because it has no, no attributes. Like, these have... Off offense. Okay, defense. And there's upgrade stuff. Alright, so... A perfect school uniform. I had no idea I had this. I need to figure out how to equip stuff. Alright, I guess that's it. Alright, so let's figure out how to equip my stuff. It's... gear. Ah, should've been paying attention. All right, extraordinary flamboyant cloak has offensive whatever, but I apparently have something better, and it's this, and it has like a slot, no trait applied. Where do I get traits? I want traits. Sells for 150, so an equip. That. What? Did I equip it? I did not equip it. I just unequipped it. Oh, I don't have an upgrade for that. All right, let's put that back on then. Um, outfits. Oh, you got a little exclamation point letting you know you got something. All right, no defense whatsoever. But this has defense. Okay, so even when it's equipped, it's still to... Oh, okay, 20 things of gear. All right, so we're going from... All right, plus defense. All right, that's cool. But it sucks. Even if you equip it, it still takes up a slot. What is this? Why is this grayed out? All right, so... I guess that's the outfit underneath this. The cloak can't see it. All right, so we also have the scarf. Oh yeah, and this is gonna give us offense, so we can do more damage. We like that. Doesn't quite match my ensemble. Um, since I'm here, can I transmog? Yeah, right there. Change appearance. X. 
Yeah, that looks better in gray, doesn't it? Sure does. And I doubt I could transmog this to anything. Oh, I can. Green or this. Green goes with the... Yeah, green's better. Wand handles? I guess after we get wands. Defense, offense. All right! I got more stuff to sell now. All right, we learning. We learning the system, the gameplay loop let's and all that. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, yeah. Let's sell some stuff. All right, so I'm getting like 60 gold for this. I have up to 315 now. Okay, maybe gear won't be so hard. I guess I gotta find like places where I can like loot stuff, I guess. Or do I just find stuff and sell it? Uh, this is an open world game, so I figure this could be like places where I can like farm stuff. I wonder if farming's required in this game. Do you have to grind out gear? Oh no, I forgot to do a Revelio. I'm sorry, guys. Revelio. Oh, I forgot about, you know, taking his stuff. All right, I did take that one chest, but I took... Oh, wait a minute. Was, was that outside? No, that's here. Um. Oh. No, that's outside. Oh, that's right. We saw that. All right, got to get out of the store. I feel like I'm walking through molasses. All right, we saw something on the side of the building. This could be one of those books. This thing's got this sort of ethereal glow to it. It's pretty cool. All right, let me go get this thing that's flying around here. Right there. Accio! Okay, I gotta actually have it targeted. Accio! Yeah, I think that's gonna be a problem of mine. Whenever I cast a spell, I'm gonna say the spell name like an idiot. Okay, so we looked at this shop. Those two doors go to the same building. Um, Cauldron. I know I saw Cauldron, so I think I got whatever I needed in there. There was nothing to get in there. Rebellion. Heard a ding. Those are locks. Some kind of something flying behind this building. We'll go. Hey, man, I'm gonna get in that door. Oh, standing too close. That was very uncomfortably close. All right, that's not open. All right, let's go through this door. Lady, are you okay? I can't talk to her. Level two lock. So is it gonna be? Hey, is this calico? Is that what you call calico? Or is that piebald? Yeah, as many cats as there are, there's gotta be an achievement to tie to that. The different houses! Baskets. Maybe it's a game. Oh no, another side street! How do I get behind that shop that had the thing? Mm, a lot of locked doors. Rebellion! There's a chest in there. Okay, so you want to get into these locked doors because there's chests behind them. Okay, can't go to that door either. I am having so much mistake after mistake. Sack Black. Yeah, he's a jerk. Sack Black. Sack Black. Yeah, it rhymes. There's another page over there on the other side of that building. Okay, this is how it could be. Ah, oh, that door's locked too. Somebody locked doors. Okay, Accio! Is this gold? It is! 15 gold! People just lay, keep money laying around. Rebellion. What is that? It's like a round thing in there. Oh, there's a chest. Gotta get the chest. Jump! How do I jump? Oh yeah, A. Oh, another one of those chests. And there's the round thing. It's a mirror. Hmm. It's got a butterfly marked on it. Do I need to bring it a butterfly? I don't want to go behind buildings yet. Unless I see like a flying page. I want to stick to the main streets. Look at Harry. Uh, look at Diggle. Meat. That looks like beef. Pork. Chicken. I don't know. I'm taking stock of the meat. Rebellion. All right. So we've got to remember we took a left at the at, at the drag. Or no one. House elves, yeah. Ooh, what are you? Hello? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Is that another cat? No, it's a rabbit. What are you doing here, Mr. Rabbit? That's a big old rabbit. I can highlight it, so I guess it's nothing um, significant. Got a bunch of tomatoes. Purple tomatoes. Some radishes and strawberries. Nice little barrel. 
Looks well used. Come on, there we go. Alright, do we want to go up or left? We're gonna go left, there's buildings here. I guess since I took a left, I'm gonna just follow the left. Okay, I can go in here. No, I can't, it's locked. Revelio. Wow, lots of chests and bags and stuff everywhere. Hello! This doesn't have a lock. Whoa, it's dark in here. Is it a tavern? Kind of small to be a tavern. Is this the leaky cauldron? Is that a spittoon? Nope, just shoved the bonk on. I think that's supposed to be a spittoon though. Alright, corn and sausages. Did um Britain have corn in 200 years ago? It's not 200 years ago, it's 1890, right? That's not 200 years ago. Why do I keep saying 200 years ago? I think it's because of the, for, uh, forgo uh, the forgotten ruins in Skyrim. Um, you gotta pay for that, you know. Oh, that boar's head! Look at the detail. The spittle's jiggling. There's um, a page. Revelio. Is it literally behind the guy? Yeah. It's mine, Mounted Hog's Head. This Mountain Hog's Head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the city atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of Hog's Head. I got experience. Nice. Am I level 6? 57 gold. We just totally stole from that guy. And I guess we can go out the back door. <gasps> He's on the dock. Revelio. There's another page over here. Give it to me. Yeah, mama. Okay. I got seven to eight of uh, pages. And I found some glasses. I don't think our boy's going to wear any kind of uh, eyewear. Although hats and stuff would be cool. I think I should have kept that hat. If the hat matches the ensemble. Revelio. Revelio. Okay, I guess we got this area covered, right? I suppose so. I wonder what the radius of Revelio is. I really should spend some time looking at the talents and stuff. Because, I don't know, you could probably buff spells and stuff. I'm gonna light that on fire! Oh, fruit. Am I gonna steal some fruit? Yep. Totally stole an apple. I like apples. <gasps> and I'm gonna steal this drink. You have no idea what's in there, man. That could have been like pig's blood. You have no idea. Revelio. All right. That one is locked. All right, so we took a left at this turn. And we can continue to go up here to another street. One more time. Hey, there's something glowing right there. What is this? More money. I'm surprised no one noticed. I guess it's my lucky day. Interact with everything. Okay, I guess that's the potions shop. Yep. Rebellion. Couple of chests. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a flu po uh, flu powder. Flu uh, point. Off on another adventure, are we? Who are you talking to? Me? Oh no, the flu powder was talking to me. Wow, that's so convenient. <laughs> Oh, gotta get the page. You can't hide from me. So I got all of that. Let's look at the map. Alright, so I got 9 of 55. And I guess the chests I collected didn't count demiguy statues. Hmm. So much to collect. Wait a minute. Oh, another one of those guys. Man, they're, they're everywhere, man. That's gonna be fun once I could actually open those up. Invisibility potions, yes. Uh, I know I said I was gonna take lefts. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the left. And I can't get under the bridge. Right? Yeah, I can. Anything under the bridge? Nothing I see here. Huh. Up and away. Magic Neep. Locked door, so we know we don't we can't go through there. Sheep! Can I have a sheep pet? Another one of those guys? Man. There's lots of them. 
All right, so I guess you only hear the tingle when you hear like a field guide page. Tingle? Tinkle. Tingle. Tingle is a feeling. Tinkle is a sound. There's a backyard over there. Back garden. Well, hello there. Hey, do I buy seeds from you? It looks like it. Timothy Teasdale. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged yep. for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, yeah. bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? Can I go inside? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. Pippin. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? What's a Dittany? <laughs> Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Um... No, I'm looking for these. Temporarily unavailable fertilizer. Yeah, we're definitely going to be growing stuff. And those are the things he said about. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients okay. to pique your interest, I'd wager. Flux, not wallow, shrivel fig, fertilizer. Two plants costs 100 gold, 150. Is it cheaper to grow your own stuff? Like, how many seeds do you get? Or would you just buy it once, and then you could grow as much as you want? Maybe. I don't know. I can sell these glasses. Yeah, 90. Wait a minute! There's stats on them, though. Never mind. Uh, oh! Shoots! Revelio. Okay, I cast it at the street, and it didn't detect this field guide. So, my Revelio uh, radius isn't so great. Hey, man, there's some gold. I guess that's a discount. Alright, let's equip these glasses. I don't know why I went to the map. Gear. Oh man, I don't want I don't want to wear glasses though. Oh, that looks stupid. Can I um transmog like no look? Yeah, I can right here. Dun dun dun. Alright. Transmog is very easy. That's very cool. I like it. Oh gosh, transmog is so easy. I okay, I'm not gonna wait till I get a bunch of stuff. Whenever I come across cool stuff, I guess. Revelio. Nothing over here. And this is his garden. Look at these purple mushrooms. They look delicious. What's this? More mushrooms. Okay. More radishes and things. Nothing here. Let's go inside this house. See what uh, we could borrow. Pumpkins. Whoa, that's a big pumpkin. Monster pumpkins. It goes all the way up. Oh, can't even get inside, even if you wanted to. Yeah, you say you're out here because uh, you want to talk to people, but... I'm guessing you just can't get inside, man. Okay, we already looked over there. Let's look over here. Is there anything by the stream? Rebellio. Nope. This be a good trout fishing right here, man. All right, this looks like something would be a good spot for hiding stuff, right? Like that. Okay, now we're off the beaten path. I didn't want to do this, but. Here we are. It just kind of loops around anyway. All right, cool. I just skipped a whole chunk of road. Another one of those. Looks like a mausoleum. Mausoleum? Mausoleum. Can't I see this? Not very functional. You can't get inside. Revelio. Oh, it's a graveyard. It is a mausoleum. All right. Backtrack a little bit. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Oh, there's nothing on this road anymore. We didn't skip nothing. Okay, so we were in the graveyard, and I did cast Rebellio, but I'm feeling insecure, so let's do it again. Let's go up here to the other part of the graveyard. I don't know, that's highlighted all the way over Rebellion. there. So maybe the range is pretty good on Rebellio. Looks like a sack of money. And it is. 13 gold. This one has a door. 
Oh shoot, that's a page. I heard you. I heard that. Where is it? Is it back here? Sound like to my left. Oh, it's right there. Thank goodness for uh for positional audio. Alright, following the road. Continuing the road. Hey kid. You look lost. All right, so I didn't miss anything by cutting through there. Unless something is hidden. Revelio. Is that a barber shop? Okay, so maybe that's where you change your appearance. So much to look at! I see balloons. Man, <laughs> I, I'm totally off the beaten path now. What is that? Akio. Oh, no. It's a wizard doing something. There's a house up here. Revelio. Accio. Oh! My Accio has a long distance. And you gain experience every time you collect it. Level 6. Is there a level cap? What's the level cap? Revelio. Uh huh. Abandoned shop. The proprietor of this abandoned shop is said to have used a shrinking charm to aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight miscalculation ended up for all intents and purposes vanishing it. I'm gonna go behind the house before I go in the house. Listen for that telltale tinkle. What's this? It's just a nub on a stump. Log, whatever. It got Rebellion. really quiet. All right, now we're gonna go inside the building. Is it just me or can you see like dew on the plants? That's awesome. <laughs> Such a crooked chimney. All right, let's go inside. I saw at least a sack and other things. It's dark in here. Must be a band. Oh, another one of these things. I will figure this out. So far they all had yeah, they all have butterflies on them, I think. Alright. Oh, there's the chest. There's some gold. Rebellion. There was a sack in here. And it's behind this little partition, I guess you'd call it. It's a big bag. Wiganweld potions. What's for? I forgot what the key is to heal. It must be one of the shoulder buttons. I don't want to waste a potion. Probably gonna need that for combat. It would be very convenient if I could brew my own. So how do I look at recipes? I guess once we could do that. So furniture and things. I'm guessing we're going to get like a customizable space. That's going to be cool. Now that I think about it, I think in the review, um, it was um, that room. I forgot the name of the room because I'm, I'm brain farting. You know, the room of requirements. That's what it's called. Revelio. Revelio. Alright. Continue up these steps. Let's look at the map. Make sure I'm not leaving town. Okay, I'm not technically in leaving town. Okay, so this was the shop, right? Yo, that was the old building I was just at. Okay, so we're going to wherever this house thing is. Hey there. <laughs> Makes me think of the Weasley's house. Why is there a pile of stones and a boarded up door over here? Revelio. Looks like another mirror. Chest right there. Another mirror in there. Maybe that's the demiguy's thing. Who are you? Someone's landlady. Nope. She's my age. Alright, let's go. Wait a minute. First get the chest and then go inside the house. Dogweed and deathcap. That sounds like an herbology place. All right, let's see if these glasses are an upgrade. They're green and they are an upgrade. Okay, so I can sell those glasses now. Two upgrades in a row, same slot, but whatever. All right, let's go inside the shop. Maybe it's not a shop. This is definitely an herbology place. 
So I guess the other guy is more like um, a gardening place, and this is the actual herbology store. That's the mirror. Revelio. Oh, it's a... Okay, so the pages have a limited, a uh, shorter range. Nice. <gasps> Another one of those chests. Hello, Beatrice. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Yeah, that's her screaming. Oh, it wasn't the constant demand for antidotes. I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. <laughs> Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear up. <laughs> if I was petrified, I couldn't get here. Whatever. Um, may I see OS? Are you saying someone died here? Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll her. just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. Okay, may I see your wares? What do you have for sale? Okay, well, so I guess... what say we show you some of what's available? All right, I don't need anything for school here, apparently. Oh, more seeds. Whoa, that's expensive. It's got to be a one-time buy, though. Yeah, that's what... It's got to be. And the, fer and the fertilizers is what you buy, is the, is the resource that you need to keep buying. 300, so that's... Yeah, I can't help. Venomous Tentacular. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about the properties just yet. I'll forget it anyway. Yeah, so something tells me I'm not going to buy this stuff. Combat tools. How are they combat tools? Chinese chopping cabbage. Formidable chopping cabbages that, when released, attack nearby enemies. Oh! You, you plant pets, maybe. Chopping cabbage seeds can be purchased. Okay. Uh, what, do they, what do mandrakes do? Plant shrieks when unearthed. Seats um, can be used to stun and harm enemies. All right, so a little bit of CC here. Crowd control for the layman out there. Out there. Uh, shoot acid and nearby enemies. Maybe this is AOE. Area of effect. Can I sell my glasses here? Yes, I can. And 90. All right, cool. So it looks like you can sell anything at every shop. And, well, the door. One of those chests. I thought I saw something else. Oh, a chest behind her. I guess this is just communal chests. Anybody could access them. And I found another scarf. I keep finding the same stuff for slots. I mean, stuff for the same slots. Is this an upgrade? It's blue versus purple. Superb. Nope, what I'm wearing is better. And this is worth 90. I'm going to sell this lady her own scarf. <laughs> Are these these cabbages that attack people? They, yeah, they have teeth. <laughs> Chopping cabbages, I love it. Look at these mushrooms, Mario would be proud. I don't know what those are. Looks cool. I wonder if it's edible. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? She's basically giving me 150 gold. Oh no, that's what I'm wearing. Okay, I can't sell her her own stuff. Oh god, you could accidentally sell your own stuff. I better be careful. Oh crap. I could kind of sprint inside a shop. Not really. Okay. Keep going. I wonder if there's a stamina bar. Like, how long can I sprint? We're magical for- Oh, gosh. Gotta Accio this thing. Accio! Level 7, just from collecting stuff. Alright, so where does this road lead? Do I want to go this way? Okay, that's leading out of town. Alright, so we're going to cut back here. Wow, so this is the main drag. Hey, there's fireworks here. So I took a left, went up here and like this. So I didn't explore any of this here. So let's go down this way. Oh, that looks like a wand. Brood and peck. Nope, not, not a wand. So we're going to take a right. Hello there. Revelio. Got locks on all the doors here. So we can't go in this building. Oh, there's money. I love Revelio. I wonder if there's a mod in Skyrim for Revelio. That'd be pretty cool. That could be useful. Another chest looks like one of these uh, invisibility ones. Yep. 
Oh, I heard the tingle. Tingle again. Tingle. Here. I know we're not supposed Where are you? There, there it is. It sounded like it was from my left, though. Hack yo! Nope, I, that, I definitely do hear a tingle. Oh, finally! I'll have enough of that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may no, have knocked over not. a dustbin back there. Never mind, is this the way I want to go? Go look at the map. Yeah, I tend to use maps as crutches. Yeah, we're gonna go that way. I did hear a tingle though. To my left. I don't see a page though. It's okay. All right, we're not gonna go into the square yet. We're gonna go this way. Look at this talented dude. I'm just trying to practice. I'm sure I'll have it soon. Well, you're doing a good Rebellion. job. Oh, there it is. It's behind the shop. That door's locked. Swish and, flick. Swish and flick. It's all in the movement. Oh, there's another page right there. Hey, page. Accio. Very good. All right, let's go in this. What looks to be a barber shop. What's it called? Madam and Snellingley's Trees and Emporium. No, it's not a barber shop. You know, back in the day, barber shops were also where you went to get your teeth pulled. <laughs> Wigs. Something tells me this is a transmog shop. All right, grab these chests. <gasps> a, a daring cloak. How daring. All right, so we got a new cloak. Is an upgrade. It is. It is an upgrade. Boom. Now the scarf doesn't match. Well, we could fix that. Scarf. Yeah, that's better. Wait a minute. Nope, that's what I was wearing. Nope. Yep. There we go. Going with the conservative look right now. What else do we have here? Well, there's scissors, so maybe it is. It is a barber shop. Okay, so maybe you could just change your hairstyle here. Hello, Calliope. Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly. Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Bloody hell. Yeah, why not? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. <laughs> but you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. What are you talking about? Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. She's got the crazy eyes. What services do you offer? Guess I could. What is it you might be interested in? Yeah, this in? is okay. It's just hair. Okay, I could give myself a scar even. Change my eyes. I don't want to change my hair. I like my hair. Ugh, no. No, we're gonna stick with our look. All right, so this is uh just appearance uh, changes. So do all wizards wear like Rebellion. wigs? Outside, it's out. Wait a minute, gotta take our money. Come on, you can move a little faster, dude. All right, I don't have to walk right up to it. Two gold. Yeah, when she said she was thriving, sounded like she was trying to convince herself. Accio. Great. All right, so this is where we went out the path. So now let's get back to the main drag. Run. But a bit, that you? must be right here. Excellent. Uh, I don't think I went in here. Zonko's. This is the joke shop, right? This is like uh, Fred and George's favorite place. <laughs> oh, so cool. I imagined it to be a bit bigger, though. A self wrapping present. What is that noise? What does this do? Is it a music maker? It's a balloon maker. And what's this? Whoa. 
a prank box. Revelio. Okay, I heard another. That might have been what I saw outside. Nope, yeah, I see it right there. It's right there. <laughs> this place is cool. Galleons! I'm just wondering if I knock it down and take the money. Okay. Good place to spend some cash for like frivolous things. Oh, there's Rebellion. I heard this. Right, I'm definitely getting in the habit of like casting Rebellio. Bewildering can of mystery. What was that? A magic fart? So cool. Oh, we gotta push the button. I blew something up. Red smoke. Now that's gotta be the one outside. Okay. Let's get. Oh no, there's one downstairs. I almost missed it. There was two pages here. I'm coming for you. Woohoo! An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wiggling tadpoles hatches right out of the suds. That's awesome. Prank soap. What happens to the tadpoles, though? Do they just die? Are they just magical tadpoles? Maybe they're not real? Or maybe if you just win some frogs. Alright, so left to right. Oh, yeah, that goes back to the square. I said I wanted to go to the main drag. Okay, I guess this is the main drag. It just veers to the left and right. Rebellion. Something over here. That I heard something over here. I'm definitely hearing something over here. All the vendors, let's go get our wand. Such a set chest. A leather cap, we got a hat. Gotta put on the hat. If I don't like it, I'll just make it invisible. It does have stats. Defense, well appointed. <laughs> it goes with my look. Yeah, I guess he's gonna wear a hat. That's cool. Yeah, like I said, the conservative look. That is a bat in a jar. A globe. Hello, anybody here? Are we gonna ring that bell? Please ring the bell. Yes! Oh, it rings itself. Look I'll at all be these right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ollivander. To me, that sounds like a sweet uh, sour candy maker, hello, like sir. Wonka. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. No, you tell well, me. You're our new fifth year student, are you not? I am. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. Very famous. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet truly. you too. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Yeah, the one chooses the wizard, Harry. Well, go ahead, swish. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Swish! <laughs> Watch out! Oh Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Let's do it. Looks cool. Really swish it. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh goodness. Duck! Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, I like the boxes they come in this too. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah. 
There you are. In the book, uh, Ollivander <laughs> measured Harry like from like a tailor. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay. Do I just purchase this one? Crooked spiral, dark gray. I don't like how it looks. Beach, unicorn hair, quite flexible, 14 inches. I'm not compensating for anything, so. Uh, oh, it's like character creation, except it's one creation. I guess I'm honestly gonna just choose whatever looks the coolest. Probably doesn't matter. Dark gray. How intriguing. Is it? Notched. Classic. That's kind of boring. Spiral. Eh. Curious indeed. All right, that's interesting. Ashwood. Okay. Classic. Ash brown. Honey brown. All right, that looks pretty cool. It's a stock. Versus. How intriguing. Oh, I like that. All right, that's my favorite so far. We got. I don't like this one. And I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. I have a feeling that this is probably the popular one. What's this? Variations, even. Curious indeed. Ooh. Don't like that one. I like this one or that one. I'll, I'll go with the dark one. That's cool. What's this? Wood type. Beach. How intriguing. Does this matter? Ash? Apple? Elder? I guess... I guess it's for roleplay reasons? Curious indeed. I don't know. I'm looking through all this. It doesn't matter. Pine? Bulb? Oh. Poplar. I thought said bipolar. I was like, what's that? Sycamore. How intriguing. Yeah, I'll just go with you. Ah, hey, 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 hey. You can specify help. I want a short one. Curious no, indeed. maybe the longer the one would be better. Like I, I'm not compensating, I swear. Yeah, I think it'd just be more dramatic since we're playing a third person. Quite flexible. Let's go with rigid. How intriguing. Unyielding. Versus quite bendy. Let's go with the unyielding 14 inch. Oh god. I'm not compensating! Stop saying that! Unicorn hair, dragon heartstrings, phoenix feather. Alright, phoenix feather. Ah! Phoenix feather. Exceptionally rare. And a core with a strong sense of initiative. Oh, maybe this matters. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Okay, faithful. Say it again. Say it Curious again. Indeed. I forget what that one was. Dragon heartstrings. Why won't you tell me? Talk to me, man. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, but originally with Fe oh, let's How Phoenix. How intriguing. Okay. And then this is finalized, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. What about the handle? Oh, I guess there's a handle. Huh. Hey. What do you think? I like it. That looks so cool. Are we gonna glow? Light up. Extraordinary. <laughs> Not quite like the another movie. Wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. So your wand is basic. Now, how did that feel? Amazing. Good? Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. <laughs> like, like I was saying, um, wands is basically a weapon, so do you get weapon upgrades? I just want to see if it, that's something that's equipable. No, just a handle. All I need are gloves. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. Visit us again. 
All right, kind of turned around. All right, that was the way we came. Can't go through Rebellion. there. Thought I heard something to my right. Oh, yep, right there. Yeah, I had a feeling there'd be a bunch on the main drag. That guy's on a broom! Money! Oh, I was hoping that would be a game. Chest in there, and I heard... I heard a page really close to me. I'm not seeing it though. Must be inside? Rebellion. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. It's gotta be inside. Nope, can't go in there. Yeah, definitely inside. Position audio tells me it's uh, in there. Okay, so we came from up there. I don't believe we went in here. Now I hear another one to my left-ish. Right, let's go in here. What is this? Oh, this is the um the tavern. The where we get the butter biz. Yeah. All right, I saw the page right here. Go get it. It's in right here. Hey. <laughs> This is so much fun! Ah, oh, I didn't read it. I'm sorry, guys. Make sure there's nothing else on the ground floor. Man, I hear another page. Oh, what is this? Mixed nuts? Yep. Yum. Complimentary nuts and all the free drinks you can drink. Drink everything. Let's get drunk. Hey, look, sweet rolls! Three different kinds! Yum. I think that's a pumpkin pasty, actually. Although pasty, I think that's more like a hot pocket. Like a dessert hot pocket. Maybe that was um, pumpkin cake. Yeah, gotta be a pumpkin cake. Ravelio. Ravelio. Sound like it came from my left. Yeah, I guess it's outside. I want my butter beer. Oh, wait a minute. It could be up there. Walk faster. Bit of a trot. More money. I want to find more stuff. I like stuff. Oh, chest. And that's money. And we... Okay, there's no up here. Revelio. Yeah, it's outside. Oh, oh no. Forgot another... Wow, there's a lot of floors. Maybe it's on this floor. Nope. Got a flying page outside. Go upstairs. Oh, a locked door. There's stuff in there. Oh god, I can't wait to unlock doors. Nope. Hello, Homora. That's unlocking. That's what I want to learn. All right, we're done with this place. I guess this was not the the place. The three broomsticks. Oh, that's Hagrid's favorite place to drink, isn't it? No, his favorite place to drink is in uh, Di Diagon Alley. No, he also goes to the three broomsticks, yeah. Honey Dukes. Zonkos. Honey Dukes. That sounds delicious. All right, Bingo and Blot Blatch. That sounds familiar. I think that's in the book for sure. I'm sure all these places are in the book. I feel like I came into someone's house. Rebellion. Looks like a tailor. Uh, is there a second floor? Doesn't appear to be. Oh, but there is this. More money. All right, so we can go down the street or see what's further down the. Hey, flu network. Okay, so fast traveling is gonna be a piece of cake. I heard it to the right, but. I'm not gonna purposefully like chase down those things. As I'm exploring, I wanna come across. What? What is supposed to do this door? Can I repair it? Yeah, repair it! That did nothing. Can I get close? Can I blow it up? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, right! Lady just uh, taking in the sights, I guess. Alright, we circled the building. That's good. <gasps> Flying page, can I get it from here? I bet I can. Accio! <laughs> That's one less ting tinkle tinkle. Revelio. Still hear another one. There's a bag right there, is it outside? 
No, it's inside. Oh! Oh, I definitely am turned around. I don't think I've been in there. What is this? Quality something su supplies. And it's locked. Okay. Walk all day with you? No, he must have said work all day with your hands. It's not like he was looking down on it. Alright, there's some mysterious stairs over here. I'm gonna go up these stairs. Ah, found something. It always pays to search little places like this. Oh, he looks like he's down on his luck. Alright, Zonkos, we were this way. Cat! This is a ginger cat. Hello, kitty. How are you? Nice to see you. And honestly, the heads are huge on these things, too. Yeah, they're shaped a bit oddly. Look how long it is. Yeah, it's like a cross between a cat and one of those hot dogs. Okay, that was weird. Some weird collision there. Forgot what they're called. The wiener dogs. You know what I'm talking about. Bingle bangle. Oh my god, I'm brain farting. I don't remember if I went into there. Okay, we did go in there. Son of a bitch. Keep going down. Little side street. Okay, this is where we circled the building. Okay, let's keep moving. Another locked door. Ooh. Must be the oh no, they look like siblings. Except one is slightly miniaturized. <laughs> they look identical. Flutes and lutes. Look at these hats. <laughs> okay, Honey Dukes is continuing on that way. Let's go into flutes and lutes. Okay, I didn't hear a tingle at the time. Tinkle. Oh, it's a record player, or not a record player. I forgot what they're called. The predecessor to records. Sweets, can I have one, please? Yes. Yum. Some kind of tart. Maybe it's a raspberry tart. What is she doing? Revelio. Oh, I almost missed this bag. It just blends in with the scenery, you know? And it's a cloak, a new cloak. What do we got? Oh, it's locked. Why? Oh, it could be level nine. What level am I? Seven? No, I'm eight. I'm almost there. All right, we're not going to sell that yet. I could keep eating tarts, but no. Look at this lady playing the lute. Or is that a mandolin? <laughs> she looks so happy. Flutes and weird horned instruments. Oh, I didn't even see this guy over here. Rebellion. What are you doing? Oh, she must be crafting an instrument. Oh, it's a chest. Another cloak! Oh my god! Cloaks out of everywhere. I could wear that one. And it's an upgrade. That means I'm gonna sell this one. Uh, gotta remember, uh, Daring Cloak is one we're gonna sell. Wait a minute, let's look at this. I, I like it. The pattern's nice. Gotta change the scarf again. Look at that. Almost a perfect match. The hat doesn't match now, but that's okay. Wait a minute, what was that? Inventory. Got something new here? Oh, this is this. A ingredient commonly used for conjuration magic. It is found in every region acquired by breaking... Okay. I guess you need that for conjuration. Any other interactables? <laughs> I just made up a word. Okay, these are loots. Revelio. And violins. Guess that's it for here. I think that's outside. Oh, I could play the... That's not a piano. That's a harpsichord. Pianos have white keys, harpsichords that... But it's not big enough to be a harpsichord. Maybe it is a piano. Play it. Yeah, that's a piano. Moonlight Sonata. All right, let's go. Double set of doors. Do they both lead outside? Why would you? Oh, it's kind of a, a patio of sorts. All right, so I want to go this way. Fizzing whisbies. That's a candy. That's a sweet. Revelio. Let's look over the map. I want to see what this gated thing goes towards. More of sort of like a background kind of thing here. So a bit of an open area here. No, I want to focus on just the main town for now. 
Alright, that looks like a invisibility chest. No, it's not. This looks substantial. Heft! Kratos power! A new scarf! <laughs> you get so much loot right away. I love it. Okay. So, is this an upgrade? Boom. Yes. Wow, legendary. Yeah, it's got like a tier system like an MMO too. What color is it? Same color. Alright. So I could sell both of these. How come this doesn't show offense? They're both offense. How come this doesn't show as a downgrade like this one? Huh, whatever. Okay, gotta remember. Wait a minute. Which one am I not selling? Does it show if it's equipped in the inventory? I forget. Well, the legendary one. We're not gonna sell the legendary one. Okay. Cool, making money, discovering things. There's some stairs going up this way. Hey, another door. And it's locked. Revelio. Didn't hear a tinkle. 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 Moving back to the drag. Honey Dukes. Flutes and loots. Okay, I see a bag over there. Let's let's clean this up. Got a door over here, stairs. Heard a tingle. Can't spot it. It's a bit far away, I guess. Take the money, go through the door. Open the door. It's not locked though, come on. So if there's anything up here. Rebellion. Sound like behind. Oh, there it is. Back here! Ah, too late. I'm coming for you. You can't get away from me. Oh no, circling. Accio! There we go. Five of twenty-five. What is this bouncing stuff? Dancing cotton candy. Dancing fairy floss. Little snipple, do you? That's the square. And we're back. Revelio. Oh, it's right there. One right in front of you. Grab it. All right. Hengist of Pudroft. This statue is of Hufflepuff, Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. Poor guy. What is the... Oh, flu network. Yes. Probably about time. Okay, so now let's uh, treat this as its own little isolated area. Rebellion. I'm hearing phantom tingles now. Yeah, I keep thinking I'm hearing tingles. Tinkles. All right, let's use this as our point of reference and go to the right. Empty bulletin board. Oh, that was definitely a tingle. Huh. I'll find it. I will find it. Open. Take the bags. It's another hat. I don't like that hat. Let's see if it's an upgrade. Where's my hats? Here it is. It's blue and it is better. I don't like it. I don't like it. No! We're gonna go with no hat since. Wait a minute, we got different color hats here. That doesn't work. That doesn't work either. All right, we're going hatless. Oh, there's someone here. Kind of looks like Weasley. I thought there was another bag here somewhere. Rebellion. That sounded awfully close. Oh, it's right here. Ah, I didn't read it again, man! Alright, there is another bag. It's sort of outside. Maybe it's in like a storage or something. What are you looking at, lady? At a mirror. Yes, you're so beautiful. The bag is over here. And it's gloves! We got some gloves, guys. Finally! Fill our empty slot. And this gives us a fence. Offense. Offense. It gives us offense. I don't like these gloves. I guess it goes with that. Not really. Yeah, it does, kind of. That'll work. I guess it's cold out in Scotland, yeah? Alright, so we were working our, our way this way. Revelio. Look at these snippers. Alright, we're gonna go into Steeply and Sons. I think there's a page in here. Oh, it's a tea shop. 
Look at these cakes. Is it time for tea? I want some tea. English tea. Traditional English tea. Got a bag back here. And we got another scarf. It's a downgrade though. We're not gonna even look at it. Uh, I need to sell my old stuff. I was hoping that all of these places had a merchant in it. Let's go upstairs. Look at these. No Is that Napoleon? Was Napoleon a wizard? Lovely lady. Another chest. Oh, it's like a shop and the person lives upstairs. A mask? An asylum mask? That's so weird. Where's that go? I guess it's a hat. No, it's a... It's a yeah, it's like face piece. It's an upgrade. Oh my god. I am now Bane. I don't like that at all. No! Wow. A lot of upgrades, man. I feel good. Revelio. Alright, I have a feeling it's downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Let's go find your stuff. There it is. Yeah, if the scroll's inside the building, you can't see it from outside. You gotta go by uh, sound cues. You know, I kinda like that. That's really cool. Honey Dukes! It's a sweet shop. Let's look at the presents. Gifts. A barrel of some kind of berries? Maybe that's sweets. Brutty Bots. The box looks like Brutty Bots, but the candy underneath it doesn't. They just leave this out in the sun. That is not ray traced <laughs> reflections there, guys. Can't see what's in there. What's that, what's that say? Karakatakis the Canty Conjurer. Give me some of candy. Interesting it says candy conjurer, because in Britain they refer to candy as sweets, I think. Potato chips is crisps. Cookies is always crunchy. Oh, I want everything. I want to eat everything. Look at these pies. Mmm, custard pie. Some big custard pies, man. Oh, what's this? Some kind of confection. Normally that will be like mint, but what kind of herb is that? Oh, the delight for the senses. Revelio. To my right. Could be upstairs. What is this curious little object over here? Oh, more samples. Jellied slugs, maybe. Mm oh, here's the page. Oh, I grew up. I'm floating. Maybe that's a fizzy whiz bang. Or whizbees. Gotcha. <laughs> nope, fizzing whizbees. Yeah, fizzing whizbees. These delicious sweets rumored to contain willy wig stings as small sherbet balls that, when consumed, will levitate one a few inches off the ground. And I got more experience. Am I level nine? Oh, so close, so close. What else is there? Oh man, I wish I had the name of the candy on the, on the wait a minute, it kind of does maybe. I wonder what these are called. Keep looking around. Oh gosh, this place is huge. Revelio. Okay, I heard another one. It was to my left. Wow, that is so cool. Look at the glass distortions. Move a little faster, man. Uh, some kind of zebra looking things. Um, oh, pepper imps. What's this do? I'm just standing there. Oh, you breathe fire. <laughs> That's cool. Man, I'd be so fat if this candy existed in real life. Oh, another one. Rebellion. Two in one shop. Uh, right, exploding, exploding bonbons. These treats explode when eaten. Although they are unlikely to cause serious injury, one is advised to chew carefully. Am I a nine? Yes, I am. I can put on my robe. Let's do it. No, it's a scarf, I mean. Oh, that was a new scarf I got. No, the upgrade was a robe. I do believe it was a robe. 
it was this one. No. Maybe it wasn't a robe. I forgot what it was. Could have swore it was a robe. Hmm. No, it's not. Maybe it was... Hmm... Outfit? I could have swore there was a, something I couldn't equip until I was level 9. It had to have been a robe or a scarf, but... Uh, I seem to have lost it, or maybe I misread it? Am I crazy? Well, when I start selling stuff, I'll know. Revelio. And now I hear another page. Okay. I think I searched down here pretty good. I think we're gonna go upstairs now. Where is it upstairs? How do I get up? Why did I think there wasn't upstairs? There's a door over here. Oh, can I talk to you? Can I sell some stuff? Look at that cake. Oh, it looks scrumptious. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> it's like Costco. Oh, it's locked. Alright, I think I'm done here then. Could have swore there was an upstairs. I don't know why I thought that. Revelio. Hmm. Okay, we're working ourselves to the Royce. These doors are locked. Got the flu network. Did I switch this building over here? Scriven and Scriven Chef. Quill Shop. I think I probably need some stuff here, don't I? Cats! Pet the cats. Oh, I think I pet these cats already. I wish it wouldn't go into like a cutscene situation. It kind of breaks the immersion a little bit. I prefer it if it just went through an animation, you know? Oh! Walked right into it. Revelio. Excellent. Scriven's, Scriven Chef's cats. These cats seem to stay close to Scriven Chef's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them. Or perhaps it's the treats the owner often leaves for them. Yeah, stray cats. Yeah, I'm going to pet every cat because I'm convinced there's an achievement to it. And when in doubt, I'm going to pet him. Alright, collection updated. Can't talk to her either. Alright, there's a chest over here. Let's go see what's inside. It's a uh, scoff. It's uh, a downgrade. Alright, outside. Faster! Move faster! Okay. We came from this way. We went around here. Came from that way. Came from this way. So I guess we're gonna go over here. Visit St. Uh, Pippin's Potions. Didn't I do that? Accio! A nice little po What is this? Pile of rocks. Oh, we can skip it. Ha <laughs> ha! We're pros. I was up there. I guess I could do this. No, not Revelio. This. Okay. So these quest objectives do not have a path. They want you to explore. Sounds good to me. There's a page way out there. And we came now this way, we went down that block. Okay! Going back. Only one way to go. And we're going up the hill. Look, it's Willy Wonka! Hey! <laughs> I convinced uh, Willy Wonka was a wizard. Rebellion. That was that page I probably saw. I have not been over here. It's a house. Yeah. Cool. Give me some money. Locked door. A back garden. I see you. Akio. And another chest. Oh, it's an invisible chest. I call them invisible chests even though you can see them. You know what I mean when I say that. A place that's got a lot of pottery out front. Revelio. Nothing out here. Okay. Oh, it's locked. I'm so disappointed. So many locked doors. But that's future exploration. I cannot wait to learn. Um, forgot the name of the spell already. Alois Mora. Probably pronouncing it. Chop some wood. Yes. 
I just helped you out there. That'd be five quid, please. All right, thank you for the 42 quid. I know I saw another one over here. Oh, we got the Tartan Casual School uniform. Okay. What the bloody hell? Why am I in a jumper? Oh. Oh, I took it off. It's weird getting all these... Wait a minute, what, what, what does it look like if I don't wear a cloak? Kind of stands like a mannequin. I kind of like it. But at this point, I don't want the scarf. And the gloves. I don't want the gloves either. What the hell is this? Legendary glo a glove stitched with mysterious design. <gasps> oh, looks like combat stuff. That looks pretty cool. I'm gonna seek out the combat stuff. But for now, yeah, this is us. Looks like a student. I like it. Very plain, but I kind of like it. He's pretty casual with the loosened tie and everything. I want to find a broom. I want to find a wand handle. Yeah, I like it. Look at all these butterflies. Another one of these mirror things. All right, I wonder when that will be revealed to us. What to do with that? Anything back here? Nope. Haha, <laughs> dressed like this, he looks kind of athletic. All right, not quite. Mm, nope, I went over there. Would it be worth uh, going up here? Doing this? Nope, all right. Gonna keep following this road. Let's see where it goes. Oh, roads lead to Rome. All right, that's a locked door. Let's move up a little bit and Rebellio. Something to my left, somewhere. Still to my left. Is it in this building? Might be in this building. I'll know once more when I do this. Nope, now it's over here to my right. I have not gone into Dervish and Banks. Dragon horns. Hello, hello! <laughs> Another one of those guys. Look at this monkey statue. Look at it. So cool. And I'll, oh, I could talk to this guy. I guess he's probably getting somebody. Oh, I could sell some stuff. Oh, yes, I can. How come I can't talk to him? Let's go behind the counter. A centaur! I hope we meet centaurs in this game. <laughs> Look at me! Money! So proper. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Hey, why can't I talk to you? I want to talk to you! You got an icon and everything! You gotta stand just in the right spot, maybe? This is weird! Why can't I talk to him? Come on! I know it's X to interact. That's dumb, I can't interact with him. That's so unfair. Drink the tea. I'm drinking your tea, man. I'm gonna drink all of it. Oh! Revelio. That's what I was hearing. Glad Rags Mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Glad Rags serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. And another one of these things, sonograph, sonograph, um, I forgot what they're called. Hey, what's this called, guys? You know what this is called? They don't use records. They use, like, cylinders with little pegs on it. Kind of like, um, a music box. Revelio. I heard another one. Coming from this way? Yeah. Out here? Now it's coming from my left. Oh, it's right here. Proof that positional audio works. Glad Rags Wizard Wear 
Founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Glad Rags offers a variety of uh, wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill is associate at Otto Dibble, happily helped all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. All right, I feel like we took out a good right. chunk of hogs meat. Another one to the left. Is it in Glad Rags? Now it's to the right, this way. Wait a minute. Okay, all right, I know I went in here. Sounds like it's inside though. And I missed this chest anyway. Uniform, that is a downgrade, but. Oh, it's right here, sons of Moses. Sneakoscope! A sneakoscope is a type of dark detector with spin whistle and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy around. It should be used with caution. However, it is will it will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence almost immediately. Revelio. And I hear another one to my left, far off in the distance. Okay. Just because you know who the reason why I'm going back, because I explored all these areas, so I missed it. Straight ahead. Yeah, I've definitely be... Yeah, I've definitely been in this area. Still straight ahead. Might be inside a building. This is... Oh, that's an invisibility chest. Revelio. Now it's to my right, left. Yeah, I think it's in here. Sounds like it's in that building. Okay. Going back up. Not that way. This way. Run. Let's see how long you could run. I don't like the pop up. My computer can handle it. Oh, I saw a B. Yeah, my computer can handle that. You don't have to do pop ups, man. Just do long distance lods. Alright, so we were up there, so I suppose we're gonna go over here. Alright, just one quick look around, make sure, or just at the score, make sure I didn't miss anything. Dervish and Bangs, Glad Rags. Yes, yes, these houses have been in here, right? Revelio. Yeah, nothing's inside. Choppy, choppy. Oh, wait a minute, there's an owlry here that I didn't go in. It's the post office, I did not go in there. How did I miss? I went in the post office. Didn't I? Yeah, I went to the post office. I didn't realize, recognize it as a post office for some reason when it's so obvious. All right, let's keep, who is this? Who is this guy? Oh, that was the Hufflepuff guy. Okay, keep moving. Oh God, it's like two steps forward, one step back, right? All right. Brood and Peck. Revelio. It's locked. So is that. No other lootables around. Gonna cross this bridge. Okay, my controller just rumbled. To my left! To my left even more! Dead ahead! It's probably inside. Yeah, it's inside this building. Cool, cool, cool! Yeah. Alright, let's cross the bridge. Is Are we leaving Hogsmeade? No, we are not. There's something over here. It's honeydew. Oh, actual honeydew. Wait a minute. We didn't go into um, the what's it called with the with the butterbeers. Oh, my butterbeers. And we didn't. Yo, cause swear I went into the potion shop. I need to find this tavern. Three broomsticks, zonkos. Yeah, zonkos. Stephen Sons, Hogsmeade Square. Where is Snip Witch's sporting needs? I have not gone there. It might have been locked. Where the heck is the tavern? Hog's Head Pub. That's where you get the butter bears, right? All right, let's finish up this area here and then we'll head back. Okay, so wait a minute. We've been up here. Dogweed and Death Cap. Yeah, we've been here. Yeah, we actually re could have sworn we were up here. I mean, what? What you reckon? 
Yeah, we have been up here. Yeah, this is the Weasley's house. Okay, then. We didn't go up this way because this leaves uh, Hogs uh, Hogsmeade. Yeah. All right, let's head back. I guess I'm gonna head here. No, 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 no. Where we're gonna go to? Um, the tavern. All right, that's next door. A pub and inn for its unsavory patron. No, that's not the place for the butter beers. Where is it? Okay, so I'm gonna head towards the potion shop, and hopefully I will see the place to get the butter beers. I forgot the name. It's not. I don't think broomsticks was the name, was it? You know, I didn't go through this door. Yeah, I haven't been in here. Oh yeah, I have. It's the clothing shop. The guy I can't talk to and sell stuff to. You bloody bastards. You look simply glorious. Thank you. Alright, the push shop was just off the beaten path, but I don't want to go too quickly because I am trying to find butterbears. I want some butterbears. Delicious butterbeer. This has to be it. Right here. I've been in here. I want my butterbeer. Oh, wait a minute. I missed these snacks. What is this? Some kind of pastry. Looks like frosted muffins and um, those croissant looking things. Yum. Isn't there a bartender? Where do I get my butterbeers? I want me butterbeers. Aw, oh, man. Alright, well, this is where you get butterbeers, but. Apparently I can't get them. She said, oh, wait a minute. She said meet up with her and we'd go get butterbeers. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go finish up my potions thing. Then uh, meet Natat Natia in the square. I didn't see a quest marker for her because we didn't complete our primary quest. So the potion shop is off here to the left. Keep going. And it's up there. I visited the potion shop, though. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. No, I haven't. I'm, Revelio. I've not been here. <laughs> Don't know why I thought that. Oh, it, a cape? We get capes in this game. What would I look like a cape with nothing else? Where does a cape go? Cloaks and robes. It'd be here. And it's epic quality and it's an upgrade. <laughs> God, he looks ridiculous without a robe. Wait a minute, you can't wear... Interesting. Gives me good offense, though. And we got a new scarf. I think that was a downgrade, though. Yeah, but it's a good look. Um... Oh, I got a new outfit, too. It's locked! Level 10, superb. Alright, so... I, level 9! This was the level 9 item, right? So what do I do now with my transmogs? He looks weird like this. I guess I could just put on the robe. Or just turn this off. Wearing a cape but nothing else? Just wearing your school uniform looks weird, man. Alright, no cape. For now. But as we collect more and more things, we shall peruse our selection and find something suitable. I know there's something else, Rebellion. man. Oh yeah, this. All right, J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothe apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and ingredients. Cool. We're almost level 10 already. All right, my dude. And I want to sell some stuff, and this would be a good test to see if I can see Pardon what I... Me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Indeed. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Yes. Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. I agree. Are potions really that versatile? 
They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time Ooh, to time. Okay. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Okay, okay. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? So this might be another situation where you're going to want to you today? make my own potions, because it'd probably be cheaper. Here's the ingredients. Here's the potions. Temporarily unavailable. All right, so the first one we can make is the rest potion recipe. A recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop onto the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. It's a shield, okay. Boom. And this one will... Yep, healing potion. Very good. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Okay, so he says he gets new recipes from time to time. Reduces drinker's well, spell cooldown. Better go and find Natty. Okay, I'll find Natty in just a second. All right, so... Yeah, spell cooldowns. That could be really good. Damage potion. Invisibility potion. I could buy it now. I'm going to hold off from buying this just yet. Lace wing flies. Okay. Yeah, these potions are expensive. Yeah, I'd much rather collect ingredients because I like to collect stuff anyway and make my own potions. Nice to meet you, Pippin! Revelio. You don't have a page in your shop. I hear a tingle, but it's outside. Wait a minute! Gotta sell my stuff. What can I do for you today? Alright, like I said, I wanna see if I can see my equipped item. Alright, these are have green bu mm. No idea if it's equipped or not. Okay, let's be safe and sell all the downgrades. Yeah. I guess that'd be one way to tell. I obviously would be selling downgraded stuff. Because I would not be selling... I'm scared. I might be running around naked, guys. But these are all downgrades. Okay, so it's not showing my gear that I'm wearing. Or I just sold it. That could very well be. Let's see if... If I'm... St yeah, I look like it. Okay, so it doesn't show you equipped stuff. That's cool. Alright, I was worried, man. I was so worried. It, your stuff shows up in your normal inventory, not in the cell screen. Alright, let's go meet Natty! She's in the square. Just this way. Alright, so I'm confident I did a thorough search of Hogsmeade proper. And later on, I'll start searching the surrounding areas. But for now, let's go meet Natty. Hello. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> We should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh! It's a troll! And it's wearing really cool looking armor. Yeah, we got full grown uh, adult wizards out here. They should be able to take it, right? No, it'll be up to Diggle to save the day. Bombarda, Ruth. Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! How did it get so close? Well. Another one! Ah! It destroyed the building! Stop a Dodge! Okay, so B is the dodge. I guess you can't, um, um, protego it. Dodge! Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We have to let him down! I got it! I don't have any of the spells I could use. I can't even do Stopify! Dodge is fun! RB to ancient magic throw. RB! Boom! Oh, I can throw stuff at it! Dodge! I want to throw more stuff! I like it! Do more! Woo! This is awesome! Throw more stuff! I don't know where I'm getting this throw. Took him long enough. Okay, I'm just finding random barrels. Sure he that way. 
Oh, that was so cool! <laughs> that was great! Invoke ancient magic. Kamehameha! I turned it into butterflies and I got an achievement! Throw with the punches! That was fun. That was so fun. Goodness! A second troll! Yep. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? Yeah. We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they Ooh, were. Of just... course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. We're gonna be doing some Reparos, guys. Whoa! She ap apparated. Alright, so let's fix this up. Reparo! Reparo. <sighs> Alright. Uh, she wants me to do all the work. That's not cool. Reparo! Lucky they didn't do more damage. Should I be doing this? Revelio. I could bust it through a building. Bust it through this building. I'm just wondering if there's anything inside there. Anything amongst the wreckage? Maybe not. No. All right, let's fix it. Reparo. Reparo. Oh, this is so awesome! Holy crap! I just saw a chest, but it's actually part of Scriven. I think it was invisible. Wow! <laughs> I just want to make sure I didn't miss a chest. It was off to the left over here. Rebellion. No, that's a visible chest. All right, let's go fix some more stuff. All right. Reparo. Reparo. That was the statue. Yes, yes, yes. Don't know what this is. That's Reparo. thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Yeah, she seemed like a nice lady. Oh, we gotta help out Honey Dukes. My, this is my favorite shop. <laughs> Only because I'm craving sweets. And there should be one more somewhere, yes? Revelio. I also heard... Yeah, that was, that was my phone. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I guess it's this. Yeah. Repair. It's more like organize. Is that a stuffed cat wrapped in a package? <laughs> uh, I did hear a page, but I did deduce that it was inside a building, right? Revelio. It's hard to tell where that was from. I think it's this way. Yeah. Oh, locked door. Okay, let's go meet up with Nate. Nope, speak with the shopkeeper. Oh, maybe I could talk to him now. Yeah. We were just talking about you. Were you now? Hey there. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. Ooh, what are you gonna give me? I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Awesome. Thank you, sir. No, sir, that's too... No, no. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? He's got a squeaky voice. That's funny. Plenty for your perusal today. Take uh, your time. All right, so he's going to give me this one. And it's a downgrade. Hmm. Oh, well, beggars can't be choosers. And I can buy stuff. Oh, you received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Oh. You're a little late for that, man. I figured it out on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, I gotta go through it. Select all this stuff. Select the one you don't want. Okay. Cool. Uh, now I gotta exit the screen switch and... Oh, wait a minute. I could buy upgrades. 375. Would that be a good use of money to spend on this stuff? Okay, let's start with hats. This one is plus 17, plus 20, 375 versus 200. Another hat. That's not an upgrade. Okay, so this one is an upgrade. Yeah, I'm gonna spend money on gear. I don't care. Cool. I don't wanna compare. Oh, I can compare, okay. But I don't need to, it tells me right there. All right, so let's look at scarves. This one's a downgrade. This one's an upgrade. Is that the only two scarves? Yep. We'll go with this one. Very good. And then I guess he has one robe and several outfits. Two robes. This one, 20. This one's legendary, 19. Why is this one more expensive? What's the difference between legendary and not? Level three trait. Oh, the level of traits. Well, since I don't know where traits come from, Difference in price is a little bit, but this has less offense. I'm sure the traits really make up for it, but I'm not at that point of the game. So let's just go with this one. That's an upgrade. And now let's look at the clothes. That's a downgrade. That's a downgrade. That's an upgrade. 500 gold. I had just enough money for everything. Cool. Now let's put this stuff on and sell my old stuff. What? What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Yes! Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Three broomsticks, okay. Sounds Bro like a good idea. Broomsticks Wonderful. was in the name. Just down this way then. Cool. After I sell my stuff and change my clothes. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined? Should you're you You're most be? welcome to peruse my shop peruse. at your leisure. <laughs> All right, I gotta upgrade my stuff. All right, or did it auto-equip? Go with the scarf first. Nope, he did not automatically equip it. A very dark looking one. Let's put the hat on. That looks stupid. <laughs> and put a robe on. There we go. I like that robe, it's very understated. Then the clothes. Boom, can't tell what I'm wearing. Looks very formal underneath it all. I wanna see what he, no, wrong button, man. I just wanna see what he looks like without wearing any, all right, the hat has to go for sure. So, no hat, thanks. And let's go with no scarf. All right, so very student-y, I guess. Kinda looks like pajamas. All right, let's take off the robe and see what he looks like. You know, I kind of like just this basic look, even though he kind of looks like he works in as an accountant. Okay, I'll go. I'll go with the robe. Why not? I'll go with the robe we just got. Which one was it? Yeah, that one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Looks like just a Slytherin student. Very cool. Let's go get a bunch of this. Hope he describes what it tastes like. Natty, wait for me. Oh, she is waiting. Oh, it's raining. Strange weather. I love the sound Assuming of the rain. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Well, I look forward to meeting her. Oh, just automatically proceeds to it. All right. We were walking in the wrong direction, weren't we? Ooh. That hat makes him look suspicious. I don't know why we're... Or is that black? No, it's not. Who is that? You said uh, you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? Yes, tell us all. All you need to know is... That if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Bom, bom, bom. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Pretty Did risky. They see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is 
working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, <laughs> let's get inside the three broomsticks. Rookwood, sounds familiar. I feel like I should know who that is, but I don't. Sorry. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Oh, that took me back for a second. That's a very husky voice. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Yes! Thank you! I want the butterbeer. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <clears throat> uh, uh, Rookwood! How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. You tell him. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My well, friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I like her. She's a badass. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Just one troll. <laughs> Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. You look like a circus ringleader. Let's take galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. I don't know. It depends on how it tastes. You tell him. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Those eyes. Some quests have opened up. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Okay, talk to Nighty outside the three broomsticks. Dagnabbit, I missed the quest. It's something about open world something. Oh well. It's nighttime now. We were here a long time. That's a lot of butterbeer. Is there alcohol in butterbeer? Probably not. I know some countries allow children to drink alcohol if the alcohol content is like really, really, really low. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. All right, you must return to your common room by night. Access the map. And then select Hogwarts. Fast travel to your common room. <laughs> I don't know where I am. This has got to be it. Yeah, okay. Travel. Ah, good night's rest. Welcome to Hogsmeade. All right, my friends. That concludes this episode. We got the level 10 explored Hogsmeade a good bit. I see no point in going back to Hogsmeade unless I want to sell something or get Aloha Mora. So yeah. Next episode, we're going to start finding new quests and we got new quests available. Okay. You have received an owl post. Let's, before I end the episode, let's go ahead and do this. All right. Owl posts will be sent when characters you have met requests are, are having an update for you. Okay. Fig! Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. All right, we'll do that next episode. Yep, I'm going to start exploring the castle a bit more, finding more pages, finding more quests, and see all kinds of stuff we can do. Maybe learn some new spells. 
So have a great day, everyone. I'm glad you came by. Thank you for your support. I hope you have a lovely day. And I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next episode.